Okay, so here's my colors. Um, that's a big tub of my pearl translucent base coat. Uh, that is quinacridone magenta by Triart Fluid Liquids. And then that is India Yellow, also not another Triart liquid color. And then that's um, a different magenta. That's a Charvin quinacridone magenta. That's Soho Manganese Blue. And I changed it up a little. I mixed up some of this kind of um, burnt umber, with a little bit of black. And then that's quinacridone Nicolaso Gold. Uh, this is like a Payne's Gray Indigo. It's a, it's Indigo and Prussian Blue actually mixed. And then this is this rosy light pink. Okay, so those are all base coat colors. They all have satin enamel. Over here on this side, this is like a black puddle paint and a gold puddle paint that's modern masters rich gold and i did the black is like a modern masters rich gold, uh, black and then um oh and that's manganese blue again but that's a puddle paint so um all right this is uh if you saw my last video you saw that it did not work out and this is another canvas, um, the scraped one I'm going to do something else with. And I couldn't do this translucent base coat over a scraped canvas just because there was a little bit of paint left over on it. Um, and everything shows through with the translucent. So luckily I had another canvas this size. And I actually thinned the translucent base coat down even further than where it was before when I when I sort of put a big puddle and tilted it over the canvas and I'm just trying a little bit different approach here so you know this is a these this canvas is so big that I was having a lot of puddling and pooling issues um, on my first try so I'm kind of like icing it like a cake <laughs> I'm just getting a very very thin layer of this translucent base coat onto the canvas and I just kind of tilted the canvas up so it would, it would slowly kind of drip down to the other side. And I'm using a really nice big RGM palette knife to spread it. And even my hand a little bit. Like this does not have to be perfect. I just want full coverage um, in order to get, you know, just some of the really pretty effects that happen. And I, you know, I thought about using a white base coat for this. But on all the tests that I did, I really liked the effect with the translucent base coat so that's the direction i went um and then instead of <clears throat> sort of putting big puddles of paint onto this canvas i decided to just kind of take my different colors of base coat that's the pink and use that palette knife to kind of strategically create the composition in mind um and the more I, you know, working with large canvases, there, there, you can do, and I have done a pearl painting on a very large canvas that was a little bit more, um, I don't know, I don't want to say simple, but, I, you know, this one, I, I, I wanted this, the client and I, you know, he, we, we wanted negative space and a kind of a specific aesthetic was it was, a. Uh, the goal and i think that this was the best way to achieve it and i really had fun creating this too just getting really playful like big fluid mo movements with the palette knife and just kind of i had music going i was really it was really a fun a fun painting and this is actually the same day when i look back when i think back this was the same day as when um i had the the painting that didn't work out so I just kind of scraped it I put that canvas to the side mixed up some more paint uh, I had quite a bit left but mixed up more paint and just kind of went for it and at this point you know sometimes you just get like a, just a go for it you get in the groove and it's it can be just great fun so um, yeah so we did the the burnt umber the Quinacridone Nicolas of Gold, the pink, the Soho Manganese Blue, and now I'm coming in with some magenta. And I just want to lay these colors down so they don't mix too much. Um, you know, we don't want them to kind of get too muddy together. So kind of keeping bold contrast in the colors, but also, you know, getting some blending just to, to make it look really beautiful and organic. Um, and then 
Oh, yeah, and a little bit more brown. So just kind of trying to balance it out. And, you know, with composition and balance with abstract art, I always really try to just take a step back, almost blur my vision a little bit and follow instinct, like how to get the canvas to to flow and balance. And, you know, if I, I always feel like, oh, that India yellow is so pretty. Oh, my gosh, it's becoming one of my favorites. It's um, a tri-art liquid. It's very similar to the Charvin yellow i can never remember golden yellow ah i'll if i remember i'll put it in the description but they're it's almost the same color and it's just a really vibrant like full of life color so yeah um but with the abstract composition you know it really is kind of um and following the lead on with other artists you know sometimes I, I swear, you know, you can try to completely imitate what somebody else has done with composition and it rarely turns out close to what somebody else does. It's just so interesting. You know, we all have our own hands and our own eyes and things just are unique for every artist. And that's part of the intrigue, I think. So what I did there, okay, I took the gold and the black puddle paint and it's not a cell activator. It's just a puddle paint. And the black is really important. This was a little bit of Modern Masters black and their, their iridescent black. And then I used uh, Artist Loft black, which actually seemed to work the best. And I just created a puddle paint. But I'm sort of using it like a cell activator in a sense because I'm spreading it over the top of these colors. Um, and just to see how it's kind of just, I put it on, and that's just like a binder page, like one of those plastic page, like divider pages that you put in a binder and they work really well. And I just kind of cut it, cut it to the right size. Oh, there's Charlie again. She's been very curious about what I'm doing in the studio. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I spend quite a lot of time just kind of spreading, the the puddle paints over the top um i'll put some music on speed it up a bit i didn't get a whole lot of the dry work on film but i did get progress images so i'll put kind of the dry work progress images at the end and the, of course the dried results and then this is going into a steel frame and i painted the edges of the canvas black because when you do this you know the edges do get a little messy it's not you know, we're not, I'm not tilting the paint over the edge as much. So uh, don't forget to book for Fluid Art Experience. The classes are actually filling up pretty quick. So uh, really excited about Asheville. It's going to be great fun. And I'm teaching translucent pearls, you know, not on a canvas quite this big, but, with, you know, some of these techniques we'll be working with. And I'm doing a couple intro, a couple intermediate, and a couple advanced classes. Uh, but each class is unique. So um, I'm really excited to see you there if you're coming. And if you have any questions, if you're not sure if it's the right event or if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm happy to help you figure out what would be the best. And much love. Happy New Year. Thank you for your beautiful support for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you like this painting. And yeah, I think the end result was pretty dramatic, which was kind of the idea. So. All right, take great care. We'll talk soon.